So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is uh, uh, SAP S4 HANA data migration. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover they are we will see what is data migration, introduction to data migration. Okay. Then overview of S4 HANA data migration cockpit. Okay. Then we will see the difference between LSMW and LTMC, the, the old upload tool which is available in ECC and the new upload to LTMC which is available in S4 HANA. We will see the differences. Okay. Then key features of data migration cockpit. What are the uh, key features, main, main features we will see LTMC. Then benefits of LTMC. So what are the benefits of using this new data migration tool? We will see. Then LTMC steps. What are the different steps involved? And then we will upload data using this tool. Okay, we will see a demo. Okay, in the system. Okay. So, so first we'll start with the SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit overview. Okay. So basically, whenever you are implementing S4 HANA solution, when we, when implementing your SAP S4 HANA solution, you can migrate your master data. And business data from SAP systems and non SAP systems to SAP S4 HANA. So, normally what happens is during the implementations, okay, suppose let's say you are implementing SAP for an organization, okay, so during implementation, implementation, what happens is you have a legacy system, their existing system, they might be using some other ERP, okay, like Oracle like Oracle, JD Edwards, or they might be using some legacy system. So from that system, when they are migrating, migrating to SAP system, okay? so what they do, they have the open, uh, they will have the master data, okay? And also open transactional data, transactional data. Okay? This they will migrate to SAP, they will uh, transfer to SAP. Okay, so master data means if you take our VMM, we have uh, uh, material master, vendor master, okay, business partner, material purchase info record, source list. So these kind of master data. Okay, and also open transactional data means uh, you have open open PRs, okay, or your open purchase orders. Okay, so those things they will migrate to the SAP system. From their existing legacy system so now we, normally we create the data uh, uh, using the transaction suppose let's say you want to create a material we use mm01 but let's say you have to create thousand material masters suppose let's say you want the legacy system has having thousand materials now the thousand material data if you start creating through using mm01 one by one it will take a lot of time Okay, so for this kind of things, what they do, you have a upload mass upload tools, mass upload tools. So means you you have an Excel file kind of thing where you enter the data, you fill the data, all the data, and you upload it once. Okay, so that is basically data migration. That is data migration. Okay, so now, uh, so in the old, in the ECC system, basically in the ECC system. What happens is we have a tool called LSMW. 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 Legacy System Migration Workbench. Legacy System. Legacy System Migration Workbench. Workbench. Okay. So it is still available in S4 HANA also. It is still available in S4 HANA. So, so let me go to the system. I'll just show you. Okay. If you go to LSMW, it is still available in S4 HANA. Okay. So here, using this tool, you have to uh, upload the data. It will contain zips and all. Okay. So this is the old one, which is available in ECC and still it is available in S4 HANA also. But in S4 HANA, what, what they did is they have come up with a new tool. In S4 HANA, they have come up with a new tool called LTMC. 
the DMC. Okay. So, uh, what we will, what we are trying to do in today's session is we will be understanding the difference between these two, and we will see how to use this LTMC tool, new tool. Okay. Uh, so let's continue. Uh, it is it is an alternative to the classic LSM. So basically, SAP has developed this LTMC as a alternative to the LSMW, old ERP LSMW. Okay. But still, it is still available in S4 HANA. You know, in S4 HANA, both are available. Okay. So the full form of LTMC is LTMC is landscape transformation migration. This is the full form of LTMC. Okay. LTMC provides ready-made templates to upload the data. So here you have your the templates ready okay for all the master data objects transactional data objects the templates are ready okay nearly all master and transaction scenarios are covered in ltmc okay the main benefit of ltmc is that it is easier processing and upload the data in the system compared to lsm so if you compare with lsmw the old tool the classic tool it is very easy easy to do and already you have all the templates are already ready readily available just you have to download the template you have to fill the data and then you have to upload okay whereas in the old classic lsmw you have to uh, 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 make the template you have to come up with the template it will take a lot of time it consists of 14 steps actually if you, if you go to this lsmw once you uh, put the project sub project object and if you execute you it will have a 14 steps so it will take a lot of time okay and also it is very uh, 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 complicated uh, to do this LS, lsmw that is the reason sap has come up with this a simple tool called ltmc ltmc okay so now uh, before going into the L ltmc we will understand the differences between the old lsmw and the new ltmc okay so here if you see in the old lsmw you have to do the recording to do that to to create the template you have to do the recording whereas in the ltmc recording is not required okay and of course this recording can be usable in both the tools that's okay now the next one is expertise so to do lsmw to carry out lsmw you need some expertise okay normally this will be done by consultants or or core users okay but ltmc no expertise is required it is very simple to use okay if anybody can do this end users also can do this core users can do this consultants anyhow can do this during the implementation so it is uh, much expertise is not required okay now consultant dependency so here in the lsmw normally consultant uh, has to guide the team or consultant has to create the template all that activities happen so there is a dependency on the consultant whereas in the ltmc there is no dependency there is no dependency it's very simple to use uh, it's easily what you call system only will guide you based based on that you have to you can upload okay now ready-made templates this is the main difference here in the lsmw there is there are no ready-made templates but in ltmc you have ready-made templates okay for all the master data object i will show you this in the system and changing the fields so you can change the fields also this is of course available in both the both the tools and ease of understanding so lsmw is very complicated very difficult actually it will take a lot of time okay whereas ltmc is very simple to use so very easy to understand also and, and as I just explained, the complexity is very high in LSMW, whereas in the LTMC, it is very huge. Complexity is very high. So these are the differences between LSMW and LTMC. Okay. So let's continue. So basically, the S4 HANA data migration cockpit, basically what we will be doing is the, the, the business, the client may have a third party system they may have their third party system or they may have existing sap erp system from these systems you extract the data and then you will be uploading into s4 hana system s4 hana system okay so that process we will see today 
okay so now uh, what are the benefits of using ldmc okay so basically 